sponsored by For Hire Motor Motor Mower Sports. 54 Jake Hebert out of Guston, Kentucky. Also sponsored by For Hire Mower Sports. The 710 Micah Brashear out of Hamilton. And Jerry King out of Hamilton, 585 Corey Davidson out of Hamilton, 707 CJ Jennings out of West Chester, 78 Belvern, Pennsylvania, the 529 Jerry Sandlin Jr. out of Hamilton, the 2314 Carl Massey Jr. out of Bucyrus, sponsored by Neck Auto and Bullpen, the 75 Chris Avers out of Van Wert, Ohio, sponsored by Big Boy Demo Team and Bubba. The 068 Jeff Ryder out of Van Wert, also sponsored by Big Boy Demo Team and Bubba. The, the 323 Sean Hurst out of Logan, sponsored by Franks and St. Clair Farm. The 70 is Kenny Stiegler out of Logan. The 1091 Tony Jeffers out of Lewisburg. The triple four. Doug Bousman out of Lewisburg. The 491, Dustin Music out of Lewisburg. 693, James Philpot out of Hamilton. The 89 and a half, Dustin Philpot out of Hamilton. 37, Joe Bird out of Hamilton. Chris Philpot in the 693 and a half out of Hamilton. The 592, Dylan Music out of Lewisburg. Aaron Bryan out of Illinois, the 80 Hamilton, the 90 Dustin King, the 88 Ricky Bright out of Muncie, Indiana. Those both sponsored by Frederick's Motors. Go ahead. One, let them go, and the lawnmowers are underway, and already they are making a pretty quick break. Looks like the 127 is going to be the first one off the lawn. Out there already heading completely across the way. We do have a lot, and I do mean a lot of lawnmowers out here right now, and it's going to be kind of hard and difficult to keep them all in perspective. But the 911 coming around the near end at the present time. That was George Sculp. He's here out of Hamilton, the number 97X West Jones out of Melbourne's in there over on the very middle of the track. Already looks like we do may have some problems with the number 802. He's not, looks like he's not able to get that thing into gear or something, kind of looking down, maybe something in the drivetrain that's broken on Philip Gross's machine. Philip looking down, already do have, I see two that have, see there's three people that have abandoned their machines and also have, I believe that's the 1222, Robert Rouse out of Hamilton, climbing off of his machine already and exiting the track. Looks like some of these have a few weak areas on it. We do have one that potentially must be stuck in reverse right now, and he's there with his mower up against the barricade wall, making a breakaway. Looks like the number 70, I believe that is, heading on down the middle of the track. That's Kenny Stiegler out of Logan taking a main line right down the middle of the track. The 323 Sean Hurst out of Logan coming down the far end here and going to swing it around. He's got the Jake stickers on the side and he's going to do a little bit of a reverse rollout and head right back down the track. Almost catching him on the side is going to be Wes Jones in the 97X, but he was just a little bit short on that. 802 looks like he has 
exited his machine as well. Must have had some problems with that particular thing. Not been able to get her into gear on the drivetrain of that 802. 911 looks like he's nose to nose. That's George Skulk. Can't quite tell what the other tractor is out there. Doesn't have a number quite visible. The number 816 coming around the way. He's going to be chasing him down to make it a party of three. That was Michael Gross out there in the eighth. One six. I'll tell you, he's here out of Hamilton, Ohio, but he must be here where it's, he's used to the cold weather because he's got the short sleeve cutoff shirt on. And I'll tell you, that's not exactly the kind of shirt that I'd want to be wearing today. Doggone it, the number 24 is going to be exiting his machine. Matthew Phillips out of Urbana. Again, Matthew Phillips was riding in memory of Chris Crevenston today. Like he's having some technical difficulties with the 24. But he did a good job out there while that machine lasted. The D9G, Clint McCarty out of Minerva on that yellow machine, kind of a track central, kind of sitting high. He's got the high back seat on it. He's moving around. In behind him comes the 592. Find a 592 on there, but and it looks like the 1091 of Tony Jeffers has exited his machine. I see that. Sitting out there with no rider atop of it. Also, the 424 down at the far end, kind of having the same problem. That was Jeremy White out of West Alexandria. Looks like he's off of his machine right now. And the 585, also riderless. Kind of hard to catch everybody as all the Excitement takes place, but that was Corey Davidson out of Hamilton. He's off of his machine. We had one heck of a lot of mowers out there. It does look like they are kind of falling fairly quickly. We do have a lot of them still running, though, including the number 5-0 right in front of the announcer stand. Still running strong. He's nose to nose. There's another tractor that doesn't appear to have a number on it. One and a half, Dustin Philpot out of Hamilton, still running strong. There goes the 323 at a pretty good speed down the face of the track. He's going on the outside, down to the far end. He's already got her flipped around in the 323. He's heading back this direction. That was Sean Hurst out of Logan on that number 323. He's currently being chased down. Going to take a hit in the side from that black tractor. Going to get pushed up against the concrete barricade. And he pulls away at a pretty good speed right now. And again, we do still have a lot of tractors still out there running. The number 88. Coming down the middle of the track. Now that's Ricky Bright here all the way from Muncie, Indiana, sponsored by Fredericks Motorsports. And the D9G taking a shot in the nose from the 323 of Sean Hurst. That's Clint McCarty. Those two kind of pushing each other around. It looks like the D9G doing a pretty fine job. Triple four is way down at the far end. That was Doug Bowsman out of Lewisburg. 
Doug's going to make his way into the middle of the sandwiched in between a couple other of those tractors. Again, kind of hard to read the numbers on them. They're so small. I'm thinking that was a 7-1-0 of Micah Brashear. Best as I can tell, got a little bit of a mud smudge on the side of it, but I do believe that was the number that I didn't see. And I'll tell you, it looks like that. Number 77 really must have taken quite a wallop on the back axle. Ryan Reynolds, as he moves that blue machine of his around, it's got quite a wobble on the rear end, and I think somebody's definitely bent that rear axle pretty well. You can see it kind of flopping around. The good thing is it is still on the tractor. Everything is still functioning properly. He's going to get a little bit of a shove down the track, courtesy of Doug Bozeman on the triple four out of Lewisburg. Packing them in the corner right there. Got a couple of them getting them smashed up against that concrete barrier. The triple four being one of those. And doggone it, the number 92 is going to be hopping off of his machine right now. Looks like they had something go south on the 92. So that one is now out of contention. That was Aaron Bryant out of Hamilton. Chris Averish out of Van Wert has left his machine. It's sitting over there. I think that's the number 75, best I can tell. That is off to the side. The D9G, Clint McCarty out of Minerva, still running strong. He's being pushed down there by Believe. That is the 710. Actually, I believe that was a 5'10 of Jerry King. And a tractor out there right in the middle of the track. Looks like he's almost completely lost the hood off of that thing. He's trying to get it situated on there. 693 of James Philpot out of a Hamilton's kind of coming up behind him. And the 891 and a half still running strong after quite a few minutes of a lawnmower derby action. And that was a good hit right out in the middle by the 891 and a half. Dustin Philpott going into the number 323 of Sean Hurst out of Logan as Sean was kind of making his way around the corner. got their mower revving up to the high side of the RPM limits right now. Might be one of the two drivers that are currently kind of reaching down in the engine compartment trying to do a little mechanicing on his mowers to keep them moving. out of Hamilton still running strong out there in his short sleeve shirt. Got that bright blue one on out there. I believe he's the only one today wearing a short sleeve so he'll be easy to find. Doug Bowsman out of Lewisburg on the triple four still running well. 
And slowly coming up the middle right now. Got about three lawn mowers. And it looks like somebody's hitting some uneven terrain on the 891 and a half. The Dustin Philpott keeping his machine moving. We definitely have some problems with Wes Jones on the 97X. Looks like he has broken a steering linkage on that. And he's not able to hold him up, hold him up, hold him up, drivers. And let him go, getting him back underway right at this particular moment. That's the one thing they do have to watch out for. They definitely got the safety aspect. These guys don't have a whole lot of protection around them. They do have the ability to weld some bars around there. And a little bit of a roll bar on the back. But as you can see, I don't believe too many of them have the roll bar extending up above where their head is. So. That might leave a little bit of a mark come tomorrow. Can't quite make out the number on that. The 97X still limping his machine in there, even though he's not able to steer it at all. He's got that steering wheel moving around, but just not doing a whole lot to the front end and the steering components on his tractor right at this present time. The D9G of Clint McCarty out of Minerva coming in. that the 323 is finding himself in a pretty bad predicament. That's Sean Hurst. I believe he's lost one tire and rim and everything on the back of the 323, and he had her kind of up in the front quite a bit. He's got her back down, but he's going to have to really hang off to the side, and I'd say it's probably the beginning of the end for that number 323. Uh-oh, there we go. We had one cut off to the side. And once they do hop off of the machine, that's pretty much it. Oop, hold them up there, hold them up. We got one driver down. Oop. And it looks like they did get the driver off the field there, so they're just moving right along in the lawnmower event. Starting out the bash for cash. Again, we are going to be starting the automotive section of this right after the lawn mowers get finished out. Last I was told, we are going to be paying about six spots here in the lawn mower event. 491 scooting his way around. Looks like he's going a fairly slow clip. Not sure if he's not able to find a higher gear, but that's Dustin Music in the 491 going around track central 693 of James Philpot looks like he's stationary at this particular moment another driver looks like he might have taken a hard hit got a little bit of damage on the front end of that machine Still running strong, Dustin Philpot. Kind of a familiar name on the lawnmower circuit. And he's just going to hammer his way through the mess of mowers down on the high side of the track. Kind of busting them wide open. We 
might have. I think we may. Hold them up down there. We do have some gasoline. Their flags up in the air and they're ready to let them go. The action is back underway here in the lawnmower event. Surprisingly, still quite a few mowers left running. Again, we did start out with one heck of a field. We had two full sheets of them. Doug Bowsman on that triple four, still alive and kicking. Also the number 5-0 coming through the pack, best as I can tell. The only problem is I don't believe that I have the 50 on my list. So may have to find out who that is at a later point in time. Lawnmower carnage already littering the track. But again, we are going to take this down to the last lawnmower running. It's going to be getting first place. We're going to be paying about six places today. Six places will be paid in the lawnmower event. Philpot on the 693, and I do believe it looks like we're down to about seven. Seven of them for sure is still running. So we're going to have to get one kind of kicked out. Then they'll be down into the top six. Again, six of them is all what I was told to keep track of. That's going to leave one a heck of a mark right there. I'll tell you, they came down there and just put the wallop on the number 70. 70 kind of got smashed pretty well, but he's able to keep her on all four wheels. And Kenny Siegler is going to take a heck of a shot right there. I'll tell you, he's got a, I think I would have welded something on the back to keep my lower back protected a little bit because the way his back's hanging out. That could make for one heck of a bruised up kidney area. These guys take this pretty serious. That is for sure. I don't think he quite knew what hit him on that one. Definitely crunching up to number 70. These guys kind of packing them in, and it looks like...
We got quite of a smoker on the number 70 right now. Looks like Kenny Siegler's machine is definitely starting to burn quite a bit of. Up, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up, gentlemen, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up. Here now, but again, that's Kenny Siegler on the number 70. in sixth place. And I'm not sure what that slightly modified John Deere is with the roll bar. He's got the yellow roll bar up alongside of it. I believe he was running last year in Lima, and I kind of had the same problem that day, but wasn't able to see a number, so I wasn't able to give credit where credit is due. So if you guys happen to be getting lawnmowers ready, if you like your name being stated, be sure to have a highly visible number. It makes it a lot easier for us to recognize you and give you credit for all the hard hitting that you do out on the track. And that is a good hit by the 693 of James Philpot. These guys trading licks out there. Again, I'm not quite sure on the other machine. It is a black tractor. And uh-oh, I think he's just lost the linkage. Uh-oh, we do have... Well, he just snuck out of that one. That was one heck of a... Good save right at the very last second. We are down to four. Tim, I'm going to need to find out who... I don't have a number on that one. And the fellow that just hopped off the track, we're going to need to get your number on that. Seven zero. Number seven. Seven oh seven. That was CJ Jennings out of Westchester. Jason Pennington on the number 331. The 331 is the John Deere with the yellow bar running down the side of it. And he's turning around and going to be chasing down the 891 and a half of Dustin Philpot down at the other end. And currently it looks like we know all the numbers except 
still have one out there that's, that's kind of an unknown rider in the brown Carhartt jacket on the black tractor with the silver roll bar around it. Unable to see his number as well. He's going to be taking a heck of a hit in the side from the 891 and a half. Dustin Philpot going on the offensive right now. This time the 693 is going to be doing the same thing. be moving down to the far end of the track. Again, we do know that the 331, Jason Pennington, still running strong. He's circling around here, going to take a hit in the side. Now we got a couple of the fill pots, James and Dustin, out there. And then again, I'm going to have to find out the identity of the last fellow that's got the red and black helmet on. quite make out a number on that fourth tractor. And it looks like a 331 Jason Pennington going to be getting the squeeze play out in the middle. Looks like he's having a little bit of trouble getting her in gear at the present time. Other driver's giving him a little bit of breathing room. Jason kind of tries to find it. He's got a little bit of smoke puffing out of that John Deere. Looking around, and I think he may have some linkage problem. That doesn't look like he's able to get this machine going. Hey, finally got the 331 up and moving right now, the 891 and a half. Circling around. That might be Terry Sandlin Jr. in the 529. I was able to look down on the nose of that. That is the 529. Fourth tractor out there. Still left running. There goes a little bit of smoke belching out of the 891 and a half. And the 331 is going to cut her a little bit short. He's going to sneak out of the way as the 693 of James Philpot kind of comes weaving in and out. And it looks like things are kind of slowing up for the 529 of Terry Sandlin Jr. out of Hamilton. I think he was just kind of rolling a little bit of mud up on the front tires, kind of slowing him up just a tad. Aside from that, it's like he's still running strong. That's the only thing kind of slowing him up this time.
the number 529. Dog on it. That's going to be Terry Sandlin Jr. All is not lost. Three of them are left running. As you can see, these three are pretty well. Modified. Tim. Hey, Tim. You're going to have to watch those two black ones for not making contact with one another.
in. It looks like Jason Pennington's back on the move right now to 331. We still have three of them battling it out. It'll be the 331 of Jason Pennington and James Philpott on the 693. Justin Philpott on the 891 and one half. Down to two. Looks like a number 693, James Philpott. Right now it is down between the 891 and a half of Dustin Philpott and the 331 of Jason Pennington. Going for one and two, and right now they're down on close into the track. See which one of them is going to last the longest. Both of them made it quite a ways already. We'll see how it fares here in the later going.
Okay, hold them up just a second. Okay, what they're doing right now, they told both the drivers they're going to give them maximum 15 minutes. And then they're going to declare it a tie. So they're going to keep watch on that. And then we're going to be bringing out the big vehicles. The automobiles will be up next. Eventually, one of these two drivers is going to either have some mechanical difficulties or quite possibly it may end up in a tie, whichever comes first. Don't forget, we do have that raffle car still selling tickets on that. The raffle car is right next to the registration trailer. Tickets are five bucks a ticket, 20 tickets, or excuse me, $20 will get you six of them. And that's going to put you right into the feature event. If your name is drawn, you're going to run that car in the $11,000 in the $11,000 feature event tonight. And we do have some people that really helped out on that. It's like Sweet Products donated. They've got their name on the side of the Derby car. Also DEC headers and the UD Superstore. All donating items. UD did give the aluminum radiator, the DEC headers had the headers, and of course Sweet Products, they have plenty of items as well. They are all here. Sweet Products has the laser cut items. Of course DEC headers has the headers, and UD Superstore is your one-stop shop for Derby Park, so... And if you need any of those, it's 
stop by and check out those vendors today why they're still here it's the easiest demolition derby shopping you're going to have we do want to thank all the vendors that came out to the bash for cash we do want to thank all the fans that came out in this slightly less than premium weather that we have today I think that the A91 and a half kind of got spun up in the back, getting the front end worked on a little bit by Jason Pennington. Like he was able to get that machine out of there and get a little bit of running room. And a swing and a miss by the 331, trying to get down to him, but just didn't quite make it. like they're going to hold it up out here. And they're going to declare it a tie, I believe. Head referee. So it is a tie for first and second between the 331 of Jason Pennington. And the 891 and a half of Dustin Philpot. Awesome.